that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. In him you also trusted, after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians 1, 12 to 13. The promise of the Holy Spirit. Since the gospel was first to the Jews, the Jews are spoken of here as those who first trusted in Christ. In the following verse, the you speaks of the Gentiles, who also heard the word of truth, the gospel of their salvation, and trusted in Christ. Notice that it is in him they trusted. Their trust was not simply in the gospel, but in the person of Christ, of whom the gospel speaks. Notice also that it is in whom they believed and were sealed with the Holy Spirit. Having believed, they were sealed. It was not a matter of having a further experience or of having entered more into the truth of the work of Christ in redemption, but it was simply their believing in him personally. The simplest believer shares in the sealing of the Spirit. As the seal, the Spirit of God is the very mark upon the believer of God's ownership, and therefore it is absolute and eternal. This expression, the Holy Spirit of promise, reminds us of the words in John 7, 38 to 39. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit whom those believing in him would receive. When he was here on earth, the Lord Jesus promised the Holy Spirit to those who believed on him. This promise was fulfilled after he was glorified. But notice the emphasis on the words, he who believes in me. The belief is in him personally, not in what he has accomplished or in our understanding of what he has accomplished. Everyone who believes in him receives the Holy Spirit. Nothing depends on our attainment. All depends on his grace. L.M. Grant.